All right, today's tutorial is gonna be a quick one, but an easy one that you're gonna be able to use for not only something like this, but many other things as well. I'm gonna teach you how to make a slotted stand for a sphere like a ball or like this little planet. Very, very easy to do. You're gonna make the same shape twice, just like this, and you're gonna make a slot that's the width of your material. It's gonna be half the height of this section here, and the other one's gonna be on the bottom. So they're gonna be opposing slots, and they just go together just like that, and you've got a perfect place to put something like a planet or a baseball or a basketball or anything like that. So let me show you how it works. It's super easy, and you're gonna to wanna to make a bunch of other things based on this principle as well. All right, you're gonna love how easy this is. Remember, all we're doing is making a rectangle like this that has the circumference or the shape of the ball cut out of it just like that, all right? Super easy, let's do this. First thing you do is go to your shapes uh, icon there and we're gonna make uh, an ellipse or a circle. Hold shift down when you are making your circle and you make this as big as the baseball or the planet or whatever it is you're doing. I'm gonna do a six inch circle, you can do whatever you want. Make it perfectly a, a circle the size of the ball. And then we're just gonna put that in the middle. And then all we're gonna do now is go and make a rectangle. And the size doesn't matter all that much. I would probably make it uh, almost as wide as the ball itself. Uh, something like that maybe. It's all up to you as far as what look you're going for. And the height really uh, just depends on uh, whether you want it to come up along the sides of the ball very much or not. That's again gonna be up to you. And I wanna point out before we do anything, this space right here below the ball down to the bottom of the rectangle represents this part right here that we're going to edit. So you don't want that to be really thin. I'd, I'd give it a little bit of, of meat there so it's not terribly thin. But again, depending on what you're uh, working with, whether it's a marble or a basketball, you're gonna to need to kind of know how much space you need there. But we're gonna divide that in half by putting a slot in it just like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do before I do anything else, I'll select the sphere or the circle and the rectangle and I'll go to my align tool and I'll align them so they're perfectly centered with each other. And then we are almost done. This is, this is so easy. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to select both of these and then we're gonna do Pathfinder in Illustrator, Pathfinder minus front or Pathfinder minus back depending on which order these items are in. For example, we want to subtract the circle from the rectangle. So if you have, right, right now we have the rectangle in the front, so we're gonna minus the circle from it, so it's gonna be minus back. But if they were layered like this, we would do minus front. Let me show you what would happen if we did it the opposite way. If we did Pathfinder minus front, it would cut off the rectangle like that. I'm gonna undo. So instead, we're gonna use Pathfinder minus back. You could also change the order of the items in the layers panel, it's up to you. But I'm gonna do Pathfinder minus back. And you see what it did? It gave me this perfect shape and basically we are almost done here now. All we've gotta do now is cut the two slots and, and duplicate it and we are done. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna copy and paste this one so I have two of these. Uh, and then all we've got left to do is this space right here again, represents this space right here in this item between my two fingers. We gotta find the middle of that so we know how far this rectangle needs to go down. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go to outline mode, which is command Y on a Mac in Illustrator. It just uh, takes away the stroke so I don't get distracted by the thickness of a line that doesn't really matter for the, the laser. And there are several ways that you can determine the height of this space right here. What I'm gonna do is just do really something really simple. I'm gonna draw a rectangle right here, right like that. And the middle of that rectangle is the middle of this area. So we can use this rectangle as a guide if we want. Uh, so I'll just do that, that's really easy, we're already here. So I'm just gonna uh, make sure it's exactly right. I'm gonna go over here to the layers panel and lock this uh, layer, you don't have to do that. But sometimes I accidentally move things I don't mean to, so that's why I'm gonna do that. So now I've got that there. And the center is this dot that's right here. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but it's right there is the center. You could also drag a guideline out if you want. And on uh, Illustrator, when you have rulers turned on, you can just click on the ruler and drag out and have a guideline there. So we can do that too, right there. 
And that's also another way to see where, where the middle is. So now what we can do is we could use that rectangle right there. We're going to draw another one just for fun. But what we need to do now is draw a rectangle that is the width of your material. And the height doesn't really matter. Just make it taller than that section is. And then we're going to go to transform and we're going to make the width uh, 0.12, which is our material uh, width. Looks huge when we're this close, but it's actually like that. Okay. And what we're going to do then is we're going to copy that guy to our clipboard and we are going to uh, move it right over here and center it up just like that. You see that? And that's going to be our top one. In fact, you know what we can do? This will be even better. We're going to delete this other one down here. We're going to copy paste this whole thing, copy paste, and do that here in just a minute. It'll be even easier. Check this out. You'll love this. So good. So now we're going to select the rectangle here and the shape that we made. Pathfinder minus front. And you see that it just cut that right out of there. We'll delete the guideline so it's not in our way. And now we can delete this uh, rectangle also because we don't need it anymore. And look at that. And then all we got to do down here is move this one straight down and be half the height again on the bottom. Look at this right there. Select this, Pathfinder minus front, and get rid of the guideline. And look at that. We are all done. And that's how you make a stand to hold a sphere. Have fun with it. Let me know if you guys have any questions, but it is super easy. And once you learn how to do this, you're going to start making dividers and all kinds of other things that go together just like that now that you understand how it works.